Hey everyone, Chell here with Prismatic Powders. Today we are talking about our textures. But before we get started, I'd like to offer our free clicking service. You know it's really satisfying. It's like massaging the bunions of the algorithms that keep the channel going. Anyway, texture powders work great on a variety of applications. Many surfaces, such as handrails and banisters, can really benefit from a little extra grip, and a texture looks classy too. Now we offer hundreds of different color and texture options, so you're sure to find something that complements your project. But let's talk about another great application. The durability of powder coating combined with the good looks and extra grip of a texture make them a go-to powder for motorsports applications. You've got parts like winch bumpers, roll cages, rock sliders, handlebars and grab bars. Those are all great options for textures, so if you have a motorsports project, it's nice to know when and why a texture is a great option. Though the durability of powder coating is widely known, it's nice to know how a texture could be extra beneficial in some cases, so we have a little test. These crash bars have been powder coated with dull black texture, and this bike has been down on its side a couple of times, but it's really hard to tell. Not only is the powder still intact, but the textured surface helps hide the scratches. So we're going to put two powders to the test. This is a powder coated finish that is from the factory, so I don't really know which powder it is, but since it's fairly glossy, you can imagine exactly what's going to happen if this crash bar hits the gravel. Now what we're going to do is take a crash bar that has a texture and compare it to its glossier counterpart, and we'll toss them in the gravel to compare the results. We are fully expecting to have marks and scratches on both the texture and the glossy bar. But let's take a closer look at the results of our test. Unsurprisingly, the glossy bar is showing more scratches. The point of initial impact on each bar bore the brunt of the impact, and it is the area of greatest marring. Now let's compare how things look on the rest of these bars. There are quite a few visible scratches on the glossy bar, most of them highly visible. So let's see how the bar with dull black texture looks. If you look closely, there are a few scratches, but they are far less visible on the texture. Another bonus to using a texture is that texture can conceal blemishes in the metal such as welding slag or gouges. The texture looks great on the crash bars, and it's going to stay looking great because of the nature of this kind of finish. So if you have parts that are subject to environments that are high use and your finish is at risk of scratching and marring, say from someone like me who will likely drop a bike a lot, a texture would be a really good choice to help minimize those scratches and marring. 
Now I do want to mention that it's a good idea to use a primer or some sort of base coat under a texture for the simple reason that it's hard to tell visually if you've sprayed a texture too light because it's, it's a texture. Uh, but we'll deep dive that in an upcoming video. That's going to do it for today's video. Now hopefully that helps highlight some of the benefits of a textured finish. Thanks for watching and we'll hang out in the next one.